Let's go. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad will go on. Man, listen, man. We down here in New York. Let's just say it like that. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to be real with you, man. I ain't even know I would have pulled up like this, man. I ain't know. What's up, man? What's up? I'm talking about Ferrari Barbie. That Listen, bitch boot camp. Katie Rains, it's going down. Mm -hmm. Listen, bad bitch boot camp. Yeah. I heard you say that earlier, too. Yeah. Like, like, give me the spiel on that, because I wanted to show love, man. Like, how did you start? What the heck is bad bitch boot camp? <laughs> bad bitch That's boot camp. That's a hard name. Yeah, bad bitch boot camp is basically like a group of bad bitches that just want to be better and support each other and have a community to unify and uplift and just vibe off each other and have, you know, any opportunities we can bring to the table like a team. And uh, How did y'all start it? Well, bad bitch boot camp was really just something I was, I moved with a mantra in my head by the way I moved military my hustle my lifestyle my discipline certain ways that in uh, my story certain things I grew up learning different rules where did you get it from the street like in the street life. just in the street life okay. right the different rules and regulations that I was taught like was military okay boot camp mm -hmm. so in order to be successful, you have to move these ways and follow these rules so you don't get fucked up. Mm -hmm. Well, we're bad bitches, though. So it's a boot camp you got to go through. Mm. Wow. Um, so you from originally from Chicago. I'm from California. Originally. You're from California. Yeah. Do you live in Chicago? I live in Chicago. OK. OK. How, what's the difference in California, Chicago? That's what I want. <laughs> the sun. We don't have no sun in Chicago. <laughs> we have all the sun the in San Diego. Windy city. It's really cold, but it's a, it's a home of the hustlers. Like you can literally come there and I think it's a cleaner, milder Manhattan. You could come there and you can make something happen if you have some hustle in any industry, in any lane. When you up here, like you in New York right now, like when you come to New York, what's the big thing for you when you when you hit the city and you hear what what what's, what stands out for you? Like, man, well, I don't really fuck with New York too heavy no, okay. yet. OK, but this has been a very good trip. Very productive. I like it. Know, I like it. I like so, to work. So yeah, anywhere yeah, yeah, I can yeah, go yeah. and work and meet good people and network. That's what I like to do. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Let's get to it, man. Katie Rain sitting over there. Uh, Rain, hey, listen, Rain Production. Let's talk about that. Like, what, what is what is Rain Production? Uh, uh, what, what, how did you even uh, uh, start it? Uh, so I started like for myself in my own essence. I've been modeling myself for 15 years now. Man. And yeah, right. I'm a, I'm a veteran in the game. Wow. <laughs> 15 years? You don't yeah. like you're 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, I got, I've had murals, print ads, magazines. Wow. Uh, commercials. Like I'm, I'm, I'm the. What's the um, biggest uh, modeling gig, gig you've ever gotten? I say um, my collaboration with artists, and in particular with Reggie LaFleur. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. We got a big project going on. Like, there's tons of murals out here. Uh, he also just put a mural in Burning Man. Mm. And I never thought that would be possible. Really? Like, that's so much energy, and you know what I'm saying? But much like herself, like, you know, my motto is... The world is our runway. The world is our canvas. Together, we are stronger. Hey, so, I like yeah. it. I like yeah. it. Um, I've uh, never done anything by myself. I'm not just Katie Rain on Earth. Just oh, I'm Katie Rain, I'm boss. Like <laughs> no, I, it takes a collective and a team to come together. So, so where are you originally from? Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Yes. I, and I think I told you earlier, I don't know, I ain't no black people's up there. Hey, <laughs> no. representing. No, I'm country. I'm, I'm country. <laughs> like, what, what, how do you, how do you, I mean, what, how did you end up, your parents from there? Uh, born and raised, I actually have a long legacy from there. Like, really? Like, that's a different conversation. Wow, <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah. Everybody know you, know your family. 
And that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so. so Ferrari Barbie, like like what's the what what's the game? Like what's the end game? Like where do you wanna take this to? You know, where do you want to take your whole brand to? What are you trying to do with it? I mean, in this day and time, you you on the internet, you doing your thing, you you with different celebrities doing interviews. I see. Like, what what is the end game for you? I just want to be able to provide women from the street life or any life that they're independent or they feel like they don't have any community or a group of people that they can rely on to really like learn how to transfer their skills from the streets into careers or jobs and feel like they can relate to women like i relate to martina a lot because to me she's an og like that shit she spits is like real shit to me i live by that i was raised off of that wow so i feel like my generation doesn't have a bad bitch to listen to or lead by example to me that when they hear me talk my shit they think i'm crazy when i hear her talk that shit i'm like yes i like a real bitch is saying some real shit you know but that's not what it is anymore so the whole end game for bad bitch Bootcamp, i just want it to be a collaborative community for women to be able to express themselves however they want and really just work off of each other to build the biggest empires that they can well bad bitch boot camp is when i first heard it is shocking like oh bad bitch boot camp yeah who she thinks she is what, what's up it's let, way more than let me check this out <laughs> let me see what's going on with this who is that Man, move the camera. Who is that <laughs> with that? So, I mean, it does, it, it kind of, it makes you want to know what is this about? So yeah. I think that's a great way to, uh, you know, just explain how I felt about it. What about you when you first? Yeah, because when I heard about, um, when I think about a boot camp, I think about, okay, somebody giving me a list of things I need to do to get in shape. Yeah. Whether physically, mentally, anything, because boot camp can relate to any aspect of your life. Yes. So... Does a list come with what you do? As in, like, this is what you need to, you know, start with this. Start, depends on what level in life you're at. Right. That like, this is where you need to start, but this is the outcome you're going to get if you follow this rule. Right. So I can only function, like, as a life coach and give them experiences that I've personally mm. been through or seen in my community or my network of people. So I try to give, a like, a list of suggestions. If this is what you want to do and this is how you want to get it, let's go about it with this plan. But with this plan comes these rules, these disciplines, these things. And if you don't want to work with it, then you don't get access to my network or any of my people that, you know, because it's way bigger than just going mm -hmm. to the strip club or being on OnlyFans. Being a beautiful woman, you can get anything you want. Right. But you have to have discipline. And you have to have some type of order. So I feel like the boot camp, I do do fitness as well. I have mm -hmm. like fitness merch. I do fitness workouts. I help girls get back in shape from having babies or right. whatever. Just any way to empower a bad bitch. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that beauty cannot achieve? Beauty? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing I say is it's more than beauty and body. You have to have brains. Okay. You got to be smart. You got to know how. Because a pretty face can get you in a door, but what are you going to do when you get in there? Exactly. What do you got to talk about? Exactly. And that's where it comes between you're going to either get an opportunity or you're just going to be another bitch in the room. Right. Mm -hmm. That's wow. one thing I always tell people all the time. If you, because the game is you get around people who are higher up than you mentally, financially, in every aspect to motivate you. Right. And why, and but I see people who do that and they don't soak up game. They're looking at everything that's materialistic instead of trying to gain knowledge, build networking. Right. I mean, all of that, all they're so glamorized by what's around you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but there's two different kinds of people. Yeah, the people who will take advantage of the knowledge they can gain and learn how to get up there and above themselves. And the person who's just gonna always stay in that room and not yeah. try to elevate. Right. Wow, you Man. know, um, yeah, I mean, I, I sit back and I, I'm listening. I'm looking through, scrolling through your stuff, really just being nosy as hell. That's what I do <laughs> um, to make sure I don't miss nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, and so what? who inspires you? Um, I don't know who inspires me. Same question me. for you. Who Not something something inspires uh, what me, inspires like, you what what motivates you to keep pushing and pronging to be you know the best you you could be it, there's n no way you can just look out here and not see something that inspires yeah I, me seeing like well the people that I'm interviewing are way more I don't claim to know everything about the game I'm a student of the game as well and I want to get access to these people on way bigger levels than me to share that knowledge as well and and soak some game up in myself to apply in my coaching or whatever I'm doing, you know? 
But um, my inspiration is really just seeing people that came from similar lifestyles like me that have been successful and made it that I know it is possible. Man, I like it. But you have to have a good team. That's, That's right. True. Let's go. Let's so, go, Katie. I, I, I yeah. need to know what inspires you. Who inspires you? What uh, What drives so, and motivates you? <laughs> so a great deal of who inspires me is like I know where I come from. I know my legacy. Um, so a lot of my family, of course, inspires me. But um, just your gurus and all the areas that I try to be excellent at. It's all those gurus that I just continue to like pay attention to, listen to the podcast. Um, I'm a loner a bunch of the times. Like I, I'm so fast paced, but on the other side of things, I would take a day, a whole day to meditate and listen to Angela Davis. Oh, okay. Listen to uh, <laughs> Malcolm X, born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just listen to all those people like, Queen Afua, you know, I love I'll take, her. I'll take hours. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a sacred woman, by the way. Oh wow! Yeah, I got my certificate and all that. That's awesome. It took me three times to do it, but <laughs> I, like, you know, that's another story. But I'll hours. Wow, I think it's dope, man. You know, um, so you were about to say something earlier. Yes, um, I want you to tell me about a story about um, a success story that someone approached you um, about your boot camp. And you help them to graduate to the level they need to be. Um, so this girl that I know had came around and she was kind of like in a mess up situation. She had a couple kids mm -hmm. and just came from being in a relationship and being with a man who was taking care of her basically, but in a like marriage type situation. Me, I was in a different situation. I had a man taking care of me, but teaching me a lot of things at the same time. Um, and that kind of like, it's nice to be taken care of, but to, um, for her in her specific case, she came around and I kind of like helped her find childcare for her kids, help her find some ways to hustle. And now she's modeling and she's in videos and music. She goes on tour with people dancing. Like she's hustling in a different way. Right. But right. that was because I helped her just kind of like with my network, bring mm -hmm. her around and tell her when you come to set and you're around a bunch of celebrities, don't act like a groupie. Right. Act like you're there to work. Exactly. Be mm -hmm. respected. So you want to, we want to be invited back to get mm -hmm. this money. Mm -hmm. You know, don't just come and try to, there's a million women in this world they could hook up with for free. Don't be one of those bitches. Mm -hmm. Come and stand strong and be a bad bitch and be about your money and have something to talk about. Right. And utilize that, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's really, um, and like I said, I'm building my brand. I'm trying to lead by example. And that's why I just want to bring the best content that I can that's like very inspiring and motivating from people in similar lifestyles so I can have way more success stories. What's up with HHF? I mean, you guys, you link with Ken, so I know you're HHF, man. So, I mean, you you, you loving the, the movement on, on HHF? I do. I love the movement. Yeah. I do, and I'll be at the Hip Hop Fraternity Awards. Hey! <laughs> what was, it, what was it about Ken, the movement man. that stood out to you why you wanted to be a part of this? Um, well, personally, I'm not a part of HHF, but I respect everything that they do. And um, Ken is a big inspiration because he comes from similar background. But like mm -hmm. I said, that's another mm -hmm. story. But um, the inspiration is just seeing him come from the lifestyle he came from and building something, inspiring people around him as well. That's like the same vision I have for Bad Bitch Boot Camp. Awesome. I love it, man. I, I love just seeing people come together. And that's what I respect, even in Ken. Like, I mean, he, he afford opportunity and create waves, man, where people get blessed. And yes. a lot of time I feel like, you know, a lot of times, you know, people don't respect it on a level to where they give him his roses. He opened a lot of doors for a lot of people. And I think I, I, I've just been sitting back watching. I'm a real OG when it comes down to what I do. And, I, you know, ain't no flaws. Ain't no shakiness, nothing. I have these discussions with my wife. I be like, man, these dudes out here, you know, when you when you get an opportunity to be around somebody to show you waves and open doors for you, man, just don't, don't take it for granted and count your blessings. Real yep. talk. I'm going to say that, and I say that with authority. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, because uh, that door won't keep opening for you, not, not if you don't respect it. 
Right. 100%. You know, so I, I definitely want to shout out Pimp again because, like I said, ever since I linked up with him, you know, he's been a blessing. He opened some doors, man. And of course, I got a lot of connections myself, but at the end of the day, you still got to show love. Yeah. That, that, that humble bone to keep you going, I promise. Yeah. So, what's, what, what would you like to see happen for, for the brand in the near future? Like, I'll get real specific. We're now in the first quarter. No, first quarter. I start talking quarters, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We, you got your second quarter and your third quarter. I want to know what what's going on, uh, Bad Bitch Boot Camp, third quarter, where you, where you want to be? Um, I would like to have some type of like financial literacy like program for women. To Within work. the next two months? Um, I mean, Within the next three months? You know what I'm like saying? That. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm talking first and second quarter. I'm talking around about June, July, right? Mm -hmm, August, yeah. third quarter, coming in third quarter. Um what, where are we at this year? These are the steps that I feel like you have to be focused on to make sure yeah. that, that you're not, uh, you know, that you're not procrastinating, that yeah. you're not just affording an opportunity, just waiting to see what happened next, uh, that you're st strategic. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. what you got going. Because a lot of times people just shooting from the hip. Right. Mm. So we got to get to a point where we're very strategic in, in what we're trying to do. Right. And I think a lot of times people don't do that. So that's why I ask the questions. I ask, like, what are we doing in the second quarter? What are we doing? This sounds like a board meeting here. This table right, right. here. You know what I'm <laughs> but what's stopping you from starting that um, financial literacy right I now? I need more resources and I need more mentors. Because, like I said, I'm not personally, like, the, I'm not at the top of my where I could say I'm just like a pro at everything. I'm still learning as I go as well. Okay. And I respect the OGs around me. So mm -hmm. I just want them to come and sh like let me be able to like my interviews that I'm doing. I'm sh I'm sharing game with OGs. I'm letting them share their knowledge and their game for my viewers because that's something we look up to for real. But mm -hmm. I can't I can only lead by example. So I got to get around and have real conversations with people way bigger than me. Right. To, for them to hear what I'm saying. Right. And I think that, like I said, uh, hey, man, listen, man, I think it, it's going to move the way you let it move. Like, if you, the, the, the bigger you can think, the more you can push, the more things going to happen. Yeah. That's the way it got to be. And I think a lot of times uh, we, self-awareness is so real. Right. You, you have to have these conversations within yourself. And be able to say, you know what, I'm here, I'm going to do this, and, and I don't care, ain't nothing going to stop me, I'm making it through that door, you know. Yeah. And I think a lot of time you got to dig deep to do that, you know what I mean? You got to be willing to, you got to be willing to stretch, you got to be willing to go places that you've never been, right. you know what I mean? You got to be able to do things that you've never done, you got to get into those uncomfortable situations right. so that 100%. you can grow. I didn't. Even, I didn't even want to take it there. That's why I got this damn <laughs> podcast, man. I'm good at this podcast thing, man. I, I know I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm th might be one of the best to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why boss taught me going in. Y'all think I'm crazy, but I ain't tripping. I got a lot of people that rock with it. Yeah, yeah no, so, appreciate it. Thank no, you. no, no. You guys are you, you guys are dope. We just wanted to get y'all on the set. We up here in New York, right? And yes, we sir. wanted to you definitely definitely uh, give y'all some roses for even being here. Thank you. A lot of people ain't never been up here in their life. Yeah. Now I'm being real. Like I got some mm -hmm. partner. Like man. There's some niggas down here on the block in Manhattan that ain't never left in their life. Right, I done talked right. to them. I'm crazy. I walks up and talk to people. You know what I'm saying? It's certain niggas don't never leave their block. It's certain niggas don't never leave their hood. Right. So just to even get out your shell and move around sometimes is a big accomplishment. A lot of people dream and make plans and don't take the steps to make those right. plans come to fruition. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. the time. Yeah, and, and these rappers, you know what I'm saying? They, I know they trying to get in your inbox. You got these blue checks in your inbox. You don't want to talk about that, though. <laughs> yeah. Y'all don't want to hear me. I, I do boss talk. You know? Yeah, these blue checks in your inbox, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, trying to figure out how they can, uh, uh, you know, come up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> you got to catch me in these streets. I don't do DMs, baby. You can't slide on me. No. No. Say, hey, man, <laughs> do thank y'all for coming on the show. How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to a link with you or join in? I'm for right, Barbie on Instagram. Okay. And what about yourself? Man, you ain't like you ain't even here with us sometimes. You just what? like, you no, see, it's quiet. No, I've been you know. vibing this whole time. She loving I, it. I've been with you, yeah, I, and I can tell. Don't get, don't get it twisted. I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So how can I get a hold of you? So you can uh, rock with me at Katie Rain, and that's R A I N E. 
Katie Rain. Rain. You can find me anywhere. Um, we got a yacht party. What? Coming up. Where? Uh, where? Where? In Miami. Hey! So, what's the date? Uh, September 1st through... Or, <laughs> September 29th, <laughs> right? Through August 1st. That's I think you can find this information. I, I said October 1st, didn't I? No, she said September. <laughs> September. When is it? September twenty ninth. October first. We don't know, but uh, <laughs> but no, for real, in all seriousness, it's but like they can find um, information on your Instagram, right? Yes. What your that, Instagram? That's How you Katie Rain. Katie Rain. Katie Rain. Katie, Katie, Katie Rain. dot com. Katie Rain. Katie Rain on Facebook. So I'm Katie Rain everywhere. What kind of music y'all listen to? Like, if you vibing out to some music, what would it be? I go from anywhere from. Trap to house music. Okay. Really? <laughs> right. I go from Benny the Butcher to some zoo. <laughs> what about you, Kay? Same. Same. Right. <laughs> there was some seventies, sixties in it. Sometimes it just yeah depends on her mood. It's just That's hard, mood. man. Right, right. Well, hey, man, thank y'all for coming on the show, man. Hey, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. I tell you, know, I don't say that enough. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys. I can't take like, y'all for follow, granted. share. Yeah, our get on that on Patreon. Get on that Patreon <laughs> and uh, try to you know sign up and uh, yeah, choose. Very thankful for thank you, you having me on thank Boss you. Talk One One. What a bosses talk. Yes, and, and we, we out. out. <laughs> <laughs>